I just think it's 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 pretty damn bad, man. Like it, it really is. And I feel as though it comes down to a point where I'm paying Trent. I'm paying Trent. Like that that's just what I'm doing. Like I, I can't I cannot not pay Trent. I, I, I like honestly, I cannot not pay Trent because it's to the point where in the in, in the Forty ers organization right now, I think Brandon Ayuk is seventh fiddle. Oh. Mm. You got yeah. a fit with Trent Williams, Brock Purdy, Debo Samuel, Fred Warner, Nick Bosa. Those are those are your guaranteed guys. Uh uh-uh, uh, that's hey. safety too. Tyler Noah who fucker. Hey, I'm about to that's say it. Safety. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on then. Then he's eighth in the Because for real, for real, if I was a Steelers, I'd be trying to trade for him. Then I you fuck I you. I'd be one. That's who I want. Yeah, he's a he's a fiddle. So, like, what what are we talking about here? You can't pay so, everybody, but this this the Niners' problem. They do this every four to five years, right? This is why they had a a two and fourteen team. This is why they had a four and twelve team, and but and that was after two Super Bowl years or uh, uh, competing years. They will spend all their money in free agency and pay on top. The bitch to be good for a couple of years, and then they'll fall off the off the face of the earth about two or three years, and then they'll build back up. The Steelers built from the draft. That's why it's consistent. But we but we're looking for a boost. That's the difference between so, the two: so built from the yeah. draft and built from free agency. Brandon, are you? I got a hot take. I got a hot take. All right, what's the hot take? I feel like I feel like I mean y'all can say I'm I'm smoking or whatever, but I feel like if Kenny Pickett, if Kenny Pickett, their coach, I feel like the coaching so elite in San Fran. They got elite players too, and they got a lot of them. But I feel like the coaching is so elite in San Fran. I feel like if Kenny Pickett and Brock Purdy switched, they would have that. They would have Kenny Pickett would still be in San Fran playing good, and Brock Purdy would be in. Philadelphia. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey Fields, who, who's who's better, Jimmy Garoppolo or Kenny? Jimmy, because Jimmy got a, got them to the Super Bowl. Oh, how dare you, yo? <laughs> oh, and body of work. You, yo. Hell no. You gotta, at the end of the Hell day, no. at the, listen, at the end of the day, I mean, I, know, I understand why you feel that way, but at the end of the day, this is their job. That's their job. So you got to go off body of work and resume. You have to. Hey, that's, Dan, and that's how Hall of Famers get their recognition is from their body of work. It don't matter if, if Tomlin ain't won a playoff game in 100 years. His body of work says he's a Hall of Fame coach. <laughs> Russell Wilson's body of work says he's a Hall of Fame player. Uh, Pat P. Pat P. got sm- smoked out of his boots all last season. He is a Hall of Fame corner. By, and by Ayuk twice in one game. <laughs> So this is what I, this is what I want to say. I want Brandon Ayuk, but if we can't get him, I'm not mad. Like I'm just like I'm over it. I'm I'd rather I'd my- rather get AB back. No, no. Yeah. Why y'all keep saying no, man? No. AB's better than everybody on our team right now, except for 14, probably. Yeah. I, I B may have the best fucking X or Twitter feed I've ever seen in my fucking life. Oh, C T E S P N. Yeah, that is the funniest motherfucker to ever be on the internet. C T E S C T E S P N is hilarious. You can't. You couldn't even talk about half the shit he says on his feed anywhere. Like your shit would get blocked. You're, you're fucking get canceled right now. Hey yo, man. All I got to say is, man, even going back to the Steelers, you know what I'm saying? I don't trust, I don't trust the nigga that looked like Mafia 3. You know what I'm saying? Who's that? Uh, Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. Uh, and I don't trust the nigga that looked like Ducky from Land Before Time. We're screwed. I'm just... <laughs> hey, like, he also, hey, Justin Fields looked like Scrat from, from Ice Age. <laughs> <laughs> 
he missed he missed two seam throws. Not not the not the two point conversion throw. He missed that too. Yeah. But he missed those two seam throws in the middle. That's Russell would have hit those. Justin still had to work on his feet. Yes, he does. Yes, so he, he does. He has all of the physical talent of any quarterback in the NFL. So, but the thing is, his feet are inconsistent, and his reading is inconsistent. You can have He's, a game that he could throw the ball four hundred yards, and you can have a game he threw the ball for seventy five. And three, and three yeah. He he's as as much as uh, my knock on Lamar is the same with Justin, but he and yeah. he's Justin's a worse. He's Walmart version of Lamar. <laughs> I be telling you, hey Bob, look, he's swole. <laughs> Y'all be telling you that, yo. I be telling you. Hey, hey, look, I, he, hey, look, he's hey, not. He's not trying to Ben. Hey, look, he, <laughs> hey, he and he's still there to Jenny. And, and, facts, that, he is. And, that, and that was our yeah. our discourse. He's in a fucking dumpster. He ain't even in the store. <laughs> Yo, listen, listen, look, look. I was riding with Kenny. I'm black and gold, so I have to ride. Nah, I'm you, know, you know, hold on, y'all know it's like was. that girlfriend that you use for an income tax check, and you gotta walk around and be like, "Yo, she look good," knowing damn well. No, nah, I never you tried that to. before. You have to play the game right. how it goes. <laughs> well, I ain't never tried that before. Who? Who? B, I ain't never tried that. Oh, hell no. Nah. Y'all ain't about to know. Y'all, I ain't never tried look, that. Look, I think it's from the east side, too. I do not want to hear that shit. I'm like, I don't want to hear that shit. Yo, cuz, I'm going to have to leave you hanging, bro. I'm going to have to leave you with that. I ain't never tried that before. I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to leave you with Rasputia. Like, Rasputia doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 Hey, Marcus, no, I, I'm the king of this shit. Motherfuckers, you try to expose me and all that. <laughs> I'll be giving no fuck, bro. Like, yeah, I ain't, like, hey, but I ain't even, I'm going to say that even with my, with, 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 with my wife, with, with my wife being present too. She's, a, she's in the back of the room, but even with her being present, I ain't never used no bitch. And if I did use a bitch, she was fucking the whole team, not just me. I ain't cuffing no hoe. <laughs> she fucked Yo. the whole team. The whole team. <laughs> Say that you're yeah. Yeah. Wow. Not just me, the whole team. Not me. Go Bro. fuck them off too. Bro. We ain't, I ain't fitting to cuff you. Man, hey, I, 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 he was passing like, right there. Hey, no, he, he was passing her around like Reggie with homeless people. I swear to God. Facts. <laughs> L Long I City, the hold Clippers. On, hold on, we gotta we gotta hit on this subject. Steely, Marcus, and Bubs, check this out, yo. I read something, and I have this has nothing to do with with San Fran or Pittsburgh related. We gotta hit there, right? So, look, we gotta call it. Tom Brady's black. I'm just, I, I'm letting you know. Mm. <laughs> Tom, mm. Look, look, look. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Look, Giselle filed for a divorce, right? I don't know if y'all seen this. But oh, yeah, that's all the shit, yeah. All right, so she filed for a divorce, and that nigga Tom Brady said, he was like, oh, okay, you want half of the assets, half of the money? Tom Brady said, all of that shit's in my mom's name. <laughs> he many pressed her. He did. He did. I did hear that. Hey, he ain't just what? a guy on the field. I got everything. And my mama, man. Because I stay fly. As much as we hate, as much as we hate Tom Brady, because I, yeah. I, I can't stand him. Dude. Can't stand him. Uh, I can't stand him either. Yo, you got to admit, he's the GOAT in football and in real life for that one. Like, that is oh, yeah. crazy. I yeah. mean, yeah, he, he has good attack. is taking some notes. He must have knew, yeah. though. He already knew she was getting smacked off by the trainer nigga, though. He knew that. Yeah, he was doing he fucking jujitsu inside that pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he knew that already. Who, what man let somebody just stand Hello. around a woman and train him up in any with that anyway? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Without saying nothing. Yeah. What, so what we have practice. 
work. <laughs> where, yeah, where's he yeah. at? Where, he, where your husband at? He's still at practice? <laughs> when he get off from practice, he knew the whole... He never, he yeah. never get He's out there drinking up fucking blended up fucking Carol. She's taking back shots. Okay, and... uh, how smart do you have to be, right? How smart do you have to be to come in what? What was he? Seven, six, seven round? Six. Six. Six round, yeah. right? To come all the way to where he's at right now, right? To be as smart, be like, look, one. I don't care if I'm in the sixth round. One day, I'm going to be that dude, Rick Rude, without wrestling moves. So, I'm going to put everything Rick in my mom. Rick Rude without wrestling moves. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put that. He still got, he's, still, he's the GOAT, but he still got an asterisk to me. They were cheating. They were still cheating to me. <laughs> of course. Well, and, and once he threw his phone, once the once the feds wanted, in, wanted his phone and he threw the phone. Yeah. Yo, I, I, I will not call Tom Brady the GOAT. I'm sorry. I just won't do it. I won't do it. But I do think, I do feel Peyton Manning was a better straight, pure quarterback than him, though. Ooh. Yeah. yeah I, 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 you Peyton know Manning I played I, for I, New I, England, I, he could have all those rings. I, 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 unless it was in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah unless, unless it playoff, was yeah, in the playoffs. Yeah. But that's why, and that's I, you, why, you, that's what makes it the ultimate team sport. But, like, so what is coming forward as, like, uh, um, throwing accuracy, uh, reading the defense, and things like that. Like, like just, just, just pure football. Yes, I have Peyton Manning over Tom Brady. Shoot, I, I, I'm biased, so I got also Montana over Tom Brady as far as that goes. Um, hey, 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 yo, Joseph Pittsburgh native, and hey, Joseph bro, Pittsburgh native. Joe from Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, okay? So, so stop that. Joe from Pittsburgh. Montana wasn't Montana wasn't better than Dan Marino though. Thank you. He just Neither had a better team. So, Neither was Peyton. Oh, uh, so look, no, hey, like I said, pure football skills. Through, just drop back pass, Marino. Marino, yo, just drop back pass, Marino. I'm not, I, I'm not arguing against that. I just think, I just said, Montana and Peyton Barrett and Brady. Now, the argument with me would be Peyton and Marino. As far just, just pure talent, pure Marino. football. That that. Marino. To me, it's just uh, arguable. It's arguable. Marino. I don't know. I mean, Marino did have less talent too, but oh, he had some great talent. What? What? Yeah, no, I'm talking about less talent compared to Marvin hey, Harrison, Peyton, Peyton, or, Peyton or, Reggie or Wayne, Edrin. He had a coach too. Yeah, okay. he, he didn't have no defense, and oh, he had better defense. Hey, Marino had a coach. Had Marino had, defense, defense, had, had more had championships. Marino had a coach. Don't say that. Marino had a coach. Yeah. Marino yeah, had a coach, Marino but he coach. was throwing them Mark Duper and them niggas. Who is them? Who, who is Mark? Who, who is they running back? I can't even remember they running remember back that. in Miami. I don't remember that. Hey, 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 Steely, who's better, Peyton or or, uh, or Marino? I don't know. Peyton was, was was tactical. Like he he's making incisions with his passes. Mm -hmm. Like he's cutting people. Uh. I mean, Dan obviously was fucking great as well. But again, it goes to like playoffs and shit for me. It's not just regular season don't mean shit if you don't do anything after. So you, so you take it, Manny? Yeah, I take, I take Peyton. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I think Manny got, uh, Manny got just as much playoffs wins as him. I think. I'm not sure. I got to look at my Doppler. But he got yeah, but he, 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 fin too, he finished though. the job. He got now, two rings. Now, now, I'm talking about, like and I said, I was going off pure of talent. Them. I was going off dubs. He's, so he's going, played in four of them, too. Off greatness, then he's two and four. Then, then, then you got, you, you, then it's Marino. I mean, not Marino, and but if there wasn't uh, no, it's Montana. It's if Montana. there wasn't no Tom Brady, if, was, if, if there wasn't no Tom Brady, how many more rings would Peyton down but, the Steelers? The Steelers have had more rings, too. Yeah. But, and look at how many times Brady did it with nothing around him. He, yeah, always, he had a great defense, though. He, 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 had a whole, he had a whole team of third-string wide receivers. That's true. And but some of those, them played but DB, those were, too. Those weren't barn burner um, offenses. Those defenses no, no, no. Of, those, of those years were like, they were really great. They were legendary defenses. Yeah. Bill, Belichick, Bill Belichick was a, Bill Belichick, he's a cheater, too, but he also was already a championship coordinator when he, Got yeah, Tom Brady yeah. though too. Yeah. So 
he he knows he still knew what it looked yeah. like too. That would be mattering. That goes that goes back to the point with Russell. At the end of the day, he still knows what it looks like. He, yeah, he plays like shit. He played like shit last year or two years or whatever. He played like shit last night a little bit. But at the end of the day, he still knows what it looks like. We can we can't say that about Lamar, ear glutes and uh Burrow. Burrow went to a Super Bowl, but he ain't win. <laughs> So at the end of the day, that's all that all that on his re- his resume says he's a champion. At the end of the day, it doesn't say that for his counterparts. Mm. So when we talk about great quarterbacks, yo, Bradshaw won four chips, but we leave him off the thing because we know he got like, for Gilliam like, half ta- ta- the time. Talent wise, like this drop back arm, talent wise, he's not that dude. Right? I mean, if we have to talk about if we have to uh, if we have to talk about uh, Super Bowls. You know what I mean? Uh, Terry Bradshaw got four, and he's nowhere near. He's nowhere well, near that. Right, and, and Montana got four as well. But we all, we all, and we know Marino with zero. Uh, Marino's better than than uh, Bradshaw. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? We there, there, we got to put that talent. And if we put that whole team concept and, on here, we have to put talent. I've been talking about best quarterback. And, it's and, and, here's, talent. Now here's it's a, hard to take away. That all the championships that uh, Brady did, especially when he went to Tampa, that solidified it. Like that, that dude really he won. It, forget it. Like, like ah, he really. He, he, you right. And here's a here's another here's another narrative too. Here's another narrative too. All right, since we're still on quarterbacks, they 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 everybody not Russ saying he's washed and shit. But last year he threw the he threw for more touchdowns than the MVP, and they had the same total amount of touchdowns, which was twenty nine. But if they knock Russell and say he's washed. How come they're not saying that for Aaron Rodgers and they got the same championship ten years ago? Mm. Mm, that is kind of true. Well, 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 well. The uh, the reason no. why is because Aaron Rodgers got like three MVPs, and and uh-huh. I think that's the difference right there. Aaron Rodgers still got them MVPs, even though he had, he don't have any more chips. But that's just like Lamar, though. Is them, is them MVPs getting you over the hump? Every time he seen San Fran, it was over for him. But we talk, you talk about being washed. We ain't talking about team, right? You said being washed. Yeah, being yeah, washed. So, so, right. so, so being being washed, no, nah, he's not. He, that, that MVPs make him not washed, but the lack of MVPs make will, will put the perception that Russell Wilson is washed. Okay, so so let's do this. We we covered the basis on Brandon Ayuk. Hey, look, man, I'm tired of hearing about that. You know what that's like? That's like watching reruns of uh, Married with Children. I don't like hearing about this no more, dog. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'll I'll watch Al Bundy clown fat chicks all day long. I'm sorry. I'll laugh every time. My bad. <laughs> Martin Martin Will Smith and Al Bundy. I'll watch that forever. No, no. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, man. Hey, everybody know a grandmaster B. Everybody know a grandmaster yeah, B, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a hater, yo. And let, hey, hey, give me good times over over uh, Mary Witch. I, I got a question for Steely. Uh, yeah. What I mean, uh, what was about to ask you? You ever, you ever turn up with D? Deke. What's that? You ever turn up with Deke? Deke, Deke from no. uh, Arthur Mo. Yeah, yeah, huh. he be because you know he be having them. Uh, he be having them. Uh, them little with them little fireball dips. He be, he be in having the free stadium with them dips. He be, ha- he be having car. He be having uh, a little free toss in the parking lot. I know. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, he be having them in the in the <laughs> stadium. Throwing them oh, back oh. right there. No, no, still he better than Deke. I'm gonna tell you why, yo. I'm gonna tell you why. This look, don't get me wrong. Well, let, me, me wrong. let me follow Steely right now on YouTube, man. Hey, 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 look, look, look. No, he on he on facey. He on facey like hell, yo. Like what I'm trying to say is like this dude be cooking on them little grills, yo, and he be throwing down. That's number one. Then he oh, be man. wearing them little, them little them little thing things with the little the, what are they called, yo? He got a whole. Oh, yeah, yo, he got the Steelers number. On. He be down there with three hundred Steeler badges. Uh, I'll follow him, yo. Th- th- got got a uh, sorry, maybe uh, a. 
Facts. St. Patty's Day card. But that, that's how I dress for the games. That's uh, good. I, 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 throw down, I, I throw down on the Blackstone every game that I fucking drink 30 beers and go in and take a nap. Hey, are you going down to Atlanta for the game? No, I'm not doing Atlanta. I think uh, I did Houston last year. I think I'm going to do D.C. this year. I'll, I'll be in Atlanta for the game. I have a, uh, a family union on that weekend, and also I'm going to take, take advantage of that. Take a trip down to Atlanta and do a live podcast down there. Real Man, shit. Dude, I'm going with it. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at a, every home game though, and we're uh, we tailgate like I, I just actually joined a different tailgate. Uh, we're like two blocks from stadium on, on Western Avenue. It's okay. a private yeah, lot yeah. with like four, forty spots <laughs> in it. We're gonna fucking go nuts in that motherfucker. Oh, hey, yo, man. Man. We definitely gotta do. They be pulling the t- <laughs> they be pulling the TVs out. I don't know if they got TVs. They got they got a DJ, food trucks, like. And the parking there is fifty bucks. It's cheaper than anywhere else you're gonna find in an open lot. That's the spot. Every, I go to every uh, Ravens Steelers home uh, home game. I, I go I go to that game I'll every year, man. It's live. It, it, I love that crowd. It's live every year. It is I'm, live, man. I'm gonna get to other games. I, I I had a bad ex- I had a bad experience when we had the. Uh, the AFC Championship game against the Chargers when we when he dropped it in the end zone, and we was I was trying to come, we was coming home from church and we got stuck in traffic and I kept hearing we was listening to it on the radio, so I just I don't I just take the game indifferently from the radio compared to watching it. <laughs> I got to see this. No, but no, he, he's right. He's right. So back in the day, right, Marin Cope, if you were listening to like I I remember being at at the game, my grandfather. He had the little radio transistor joint in his ear, and he and he oh, was yeah. in the Myron Cope. You know they they still do that at the game. Yeah, like yo, Bill, I'm, I'm up like no, hey, shout out to Bill Hillgrove, man. Like, hey, the, the voice of Pittsburgh. Like, I, I miss, yeah, I'm gonna retired. miss his voice. I'm gonna miss his voice, man. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna right right now. Yeah, man, yeah. It would be wild. Let's say yeah, something yeah. like wild. Like, he's a, he's a little bit taller, though. He went there. That would oh, be that, weird I, as hell. I, I need that extra, man. And, 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 no, and I, we'll, like, see, we'll see what he does. The, the thing is, he did. He's been doing shit for the Pirates for the last, I don't even know how long, a pretty long time. Yeah. And the Pirates haven't done anything in fucking fifty years, so there's nothing to get excited about. <laughs> right. Oh. Right. Right. Like, hey yo, like the Pirates are like a like you stuck in a sneeze. Like you know what I'm saying? Like them motherfuckers be good for for like the beginning of the season. They be like, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, nothing. I love their, I love yeah, the, yeah. I love the hat, man. I love that. I love the the iconic P because it's just like everything. It's just everybody in Pittsburgh has something with that P, but yeah. it's just yeah. like they just piss me off, man. It's like, but it would be wild if they won a playoff game before the Steelers, though. That shit would be wild. <laughs> that would be wild. Yo, yo. That, <laughs> yo, that I, haven't would watched, be I haven't watched the Pirates since Andy Van Slyke and Bobby Bonilla. I'm gonna be honest. Damn, Damn bro. You ain't Damn. went to no game. You ain't take the kids to no game, nigga. No, nah, yo, no pierogi races, none of that. Yo, like I'm not. Look, bro. Hey, yo, the you, you owner don't spend no money, dog. So why should hey. I spend? Like, you, why? you ain't watch the, the, the 2014 with Neil Walker. Like, come on, man, Marte. No, bro. No, bro. Like, come on with the squad. No. Bro. Look, look, look. Yeah. I'll, I, I'll root for the Penguins. I root for the Penguins. Hey, look, I still have not been to a Penguin playoff game, and I, I'm I have to go. And that's my bucket list right there. I've okay, been to so, the season game, so but I want to go. Thing, to, I gotta go to a playoff game. What is one thing that Pittsburgh needs? Like, like let, let's just call it what it is. What is one thing that Pittsburgh needs? More that- jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Lower taxes, better oh, roads. Like, what, what, what is what is Pittsburgh need like as far as sports wise? Like, do we need do we need the Pirates to be better? Do we need the Steelers to to win? Or what what put it this way? What's more impactful? The Steelers won a Super Bowl. I, I, I think if, if the Pirates were to win a World Series, I don't, I don't know if you. Looked at the shit from the last time they were in the playoffs. Remember the cardio drop in the ball? That motherfucker was rocking. Man, hey, so, yo, they had him so nervous. They had him so 
there's whole generations that haven't seen it. I'm I'm in it. I was born in '87. Yeah. I ain't seen shit. Right, right, right. Yeah. So I'm born. So look, you, were, you wasn't even you was barely conscious for the for the bonds but the advanced like Tim Wakefield years. Like, yeah, you, I was I was like five years old. Uh, so look, I'm, I'm born in '81, so I remember that we me and my friends we had a uh, Mellon Park playing. Uh, Baseball, so I'm Bania, and you know I'm trying to hit home runs and stuff like that, man. Like that was a oh, yeah, yeah. That was He's a talent. Talent. I, mean, I, I always had, I always had like RBI baseball and shit for like NES, like and so that's where I learned all their names from playing playing with them all there. Fought somebody, hey Steely, I fought somebody for stealing my King Griffey game from Nintendo, dog. I was not with it, yo. I beat him up, yo. Like that's one thing. <laughs> I've never seen that's King the Griffey Slugfest. Before. And the new generation, we would get outside and play baseball, basketball. Niggas would play hockey, even. Like I, I would play hockey. Oh, man, so man. I do have a hey, we did all that shit growing up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like these young dudes, the, the fucking boonies. We didn't have anything else to do. Right, right, right. The hey. new generation is stealing cars. All they want to do is steal cars. Yeah, the yeah, over. Over. Yes, that's all they want to do. We hey, were still in cars too, yo, but not like that. And hey, yo, craziest part is all they use is this to steal a car. <laughs> like, what are y'all doing? But we needed, we needed, we needed a screwdriver. We needed the screwdriver. Now all of you, all they using chargers, man. That shit's crazy. All right, so you know what my take is? Will it be more impactful to the city? What? If we get a basketball team, I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. We gonna be worse than the pirates, though. I, I I feel like if we had a, if we had, we would be worse than the pirates. Okay, so so all right, so still the bitches, the bitches is what would we call them though. What would we call them? What like what hey, name? Look, hey, Pittsburgh Prime and the uh, the mascot be like a gorilla, primate. Wow, there you go, right there, done, done. But damn, that's all right. They're gonna say we <laughs> feed off the sun, though. Right. That's tough. <laughs> The Pittsburgh the, Prime. Then, are you going to get the name Prime with that fucking Gatorade drink that's out there? The. Oh yeah. So all right. Yeah, you got. You got that. And they're gonna say. And they're gonna say we stole it off the gorilla from the Suns. Man, forget that. They're the Suns. They ain't the forest. They the Suns. They they have a. They even have a sun player. No. Be the sons and your, your mascot is a is an animal. That's crazy as heck to me. Okay. Every year, every year we can honor your fucking Harambe just as a dig at Ohio. Oh, yeah. he's crazy, yo. Oh. Yeah. And we get, a, we get a team. We get the team. Pittsburgh Prime. LeBron and his sons going. Hey, come. Bro, we got to clap it up for Stilly, yo. Like we got to clap. Hell, that's why I'm close. I'm for you. Hey yo, I'm, I'm popping up. I, I'll, I'll have my rock with some jersey on. That's my favorite Steeler of all time. I'm gonna pop up. I'm popping hey, up. No, no, yo, stop set tripping, bro. Keep, keep, keep your same energy, bro. I told you what it was. I said he's my favorite <laughs> Steeler. Okay, Raw, oh, Jay Rice, R I C E, which means goat, is my favorite player. My favorite Steeler is Rod Woodson. Number the true twenty six. You feel me? That's their favorite. That's their favorite player of all time is Jerry Rice. Yep. Mine's is Barry Sanders and and Mike Vick. There you go. Yeah. Mine I that trip. I'm true to the game. Mine's Troy. Troy, my favorite. Yeah, I'm, is I'm, Troy. I'm, right, I'm, right, I'm right with you, Troy. Yeah, Troy. I'm Troy all day. Troy's my hey, top hey, filler. Hold on, with a slight edge. Because he was humble. He was great and humble. Of mean Joe Green. Slight age. Okay, all Slide. right. Qu you can't, everybody Qu can't be both, especially Question in football. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw about Steely, though. I'm going to throw about Steely. Who was the greatest stealer of all time? Ooh. Mm. Can I answer it? Steely first. Make your turn. All right, all right I'm going to shut the fuck up. <laughs> 90% uh, of people say Mean Joe. It's Troy for me, but I've never seen Mean Joe play besides highlights, so. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. What you mean the nicest, like nice in person or the best feeler ever? 
The great, no, I said it's the greatest of I said all the time. Greatest period. Stealer. The greatest one to wear the black and gold. Okay. All right. Society. Society. Oh, 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 you qualify it? That's society on you. say society say it's seventy five. But uh, to me, I feel like the greatest stealer of all time. The the greatest the my favorite stealer of all time is Troy. But I feel like the greatest stealer of all time is Hans War. Oh. 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 Okay. He was the only nigga I seen when we lost to when we lost to New England when Ben was a rookie and and he made he's the reason why the he's the reason he's partly the reason why Bettis came back for his last year cuz he wrote in a book he wanted to cook oh, yeah, cuz they kept giving the ball He was to, crying uh, in the post 22. game and shit. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah. He was broken but up. But I feel like Pat has warp has warp is every even though Troy and Harrison, all them all the great stillers was embarked the stiller tradition, but I feel like Hans Warp Hans Warp was never like the best player on the team and he took when we lost, he was the only one that felt that looked like he felt that shit how we felt it as fans. So mm. let me know he always put it out there on the line. He always put it out there on the line. That's the greatest stiller to me. Okay. Um, the greatest stealer, like on and off the field or on the field, well, however you qualify, that's on you. All right, well, I'm gonna just say on the field, and I'm gonna say Antonio Brown. He was better definitely than the best wide receiver we ever had. He was the best wide receiver, yeah, yeah. He was better than the best stealer because he quit. So and when when the, when the homeboy walk off the field, he quit, and he show up. He show up to a game, an important game, in the fur coat. I can't put him at the grand stealer at, at all. He, he's not. Uh, and he cried about Juju too. Hold on, I'm quarter, but but y'all, but y'all, I, know, asking, I, I understand why I can't. Yeah, yeah. That's, but, but, yeah, but, he, but, he's, but, he's he's saying Juju's back. He did what? Go ahead, Dave. I'm bad. I'm bad. All right. So the reason why I say that we're not talking about off the game, uh, off the field, or or his antics, right? We're talking about steady gameplay. Because if, if we're talking about both, then I would have to say Cam Hayward. No. Cam, I would have Cam, to say Cam, Cam to me because look at how many awards he got just for being a great guy, like just from being a great person. And his production on the field is top tier. He's going to the Hall of Fame. He's a Hall of Fame player, but he be, he's a crybaby too, though. He <laughs> crying too. He don't see the business. He's He don't care about the business side of things. He's looking for he's looking for his future, which I understand his point too, as in looking for his future at the end of his career. But you gotta look at it like this: they already got your brother out here. They could have cut him, where we could use his ass for trade bait. You know what I'm saying? And for him, he's still top. He's still one of the top players at his position. But you are at the end of your career, and if you want to win, you should be wanting to take a pay cut. Mm. 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 Yeah, he's not worth top tier money anymore. He's not no, good, not but he, but he, no, but, no, but, but that's what he wants. That, we, we say, Stilly, I, I feel what you're saying. I under, I, I under, I agree 100% fully. He, but because because of his rankings at his position, he still deserves the money. Oh, that's yeah. why he's saying it. But as in, you want to win, you got to take a pay cut. And that's why I feel like the Bengals ain't going to win because all that shit Joe Burrow was talking, him, he ain't take no pay cut for T Higg. Chase is sitting out. You know what I'm saying? All that shit takes account of, uh, as a, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like Joe took all that money because he knows he's injury prone. He is Andrew Luck. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That's a little crazy. He's, he's Andrew Luck. A great player. Can get you to the championship game every year, damn near. But yeah, if he's so. hurt, he's hurt. You're hurt. So, That's Andrew Luck. So, my, like, I can't put... Rob Woodson, my favorite player, I cannot put him as a greatest stealer because he left, right? Because he left. He, he was gone, right? Um, I can't put Antonio Brown as a greatest stealer because he quit. So, um, Bettis is close to me because even though he wasn't drafted as a stealer, he took on the stealer persona and he embodied that tough, rugged, uh, uh, in-your-face, no-nonsense, lunch pail, I'm doing this attitude and it perpetuated through the team. But the greatest thing I will have to say is Joe Green because he's the one that began that 
thing that we call but, the sure weight. That 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 hard, rugged toughness, and that's the, by his standard that we've been living on like this for the past 40, 50 years. And that's the consensus pick. Yep. And, th but, and that's, and why, only, that's only, why I say only, Joe Green, but only, Jerome Bettis is a close number two for me. Only And only reason why I, I feel how you feel too, and, and that is the consensus pick is 75, but I didn't see him play either, like Steely said. Yeah. So, and, you know what I'm saying, I'm just going about from what my own eyes, I feel like Heinz Ward was the closest thing to it, and he wasn't nowhere near Troy, so, you know what I'm saying, but, you know what I'm saying, Heinz, Heinz, Heinz was everything, Heinz was everything you wanted in a stiller. Yep. Mm, mm. I, yeah, so, out, out of the players I've seen, I will, I will put Jerome Bennett because, dude, hey, yo, him running over Earl after. This dude gave yeah, Ray Lewis in the snow. In the snow, he gave Ray Lewis the business every time. Like we, even when he had no wheels left, this dude still averaged like two yards a, a play and had twenty-one touchdowns in a year. And, and, crazy. And, <laughs> and he has the single best NFL game stat in history: one yard and three touchdowns. Right, mm. that, that's crazy. Like that's wild. So that's he he that's he, he uh, the players that I've seen play. He embodies the Steeler, what we call the Steeler way. Okay, so two more questions before we get out of here. Um, where do y'all rank Ben at? As far as like all time or Steelers? Like as far as, okay, let's do Steelers and all time. First, let's start with the Steelers and then answer to all time. So Steely, where do you, where do you rank Big Ben at? Because can we all agree? Can we all agree? He is the best quarterback that the Pittsburgh Steelers ever had. Yes. Agree. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Agree. All right. So we all agree on that. So let's let's give the ranking of, of him with the Steelers and the meaningfulness and and the meaningfulness in the NFL. Go ahead, Steely. Uh, for Steelers, I'll put him number three. I mean, you don't have the two championships without him, but you probably could have had two, three more if he cared enough to just like prepare like other people prepare and not be a fucking whiny bitch all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, you could, you, you could, you could tell by his part, you could tell in the, in the after the after play of him with his podcast, you could tell all he did yeah. was eat backstrap and drink beer. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, you, you know, you're going to see people off their nose in a fucking play and then finish the game. Yeah, yeah, you ain't. Yeah, you ain't gonna get no more. Yeah, you just not gonna see it. He wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't no. He wasn't no pussy. They threw his throw Cincinnati. Oh, no. They was throwing beer cans at him. Yeah, Hit him no in the head with the beer cans. He came yeah. back. They ain't no punk. That's for sure. He, he definitely no wasn't no. He definitely was. He definitely had the stiller mentality. Yeah, for and, sure. and all time NFL, I'd, he's somewhere between ten and twenty. Like, yeah, he, yeah. I mean, like he he's probably he's definitely top ten QB. In, in my eyes, just out of pure play. Like, he's the one with the most, what, 600-yard games. He had them fucking back-to-back. -back. Hey, Bub. <laughs> What's the 500-yard game we're looking up? The state, we get no, the, the, you know, I'm sorry, it was the 500-yard games and then yeah, the, the most uh, six touchdown games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He got, like, hey, you, hey. He's you can do that shit by accident. He's second in most comebacks behind Tom Brady, yeah. too. Yeah, and, and he did how many in his last season – on half an arm. Alone. Yeah. Alone. Half an arm. That's right. Yep. Yep. Alone. Okay. So, so, uh, so, Marcus, yo, we're, with, uh, at the Steeler helm, how do you, how do you rank him? And at the NFL helm, how do you rank him? You talking about as far, uh, not as the, as the Steeler helm is, can, is that consist of other players that's not playing quarterback? In, in the all totality. And every player oh. that has ever played, how meaningful is he as a Steeler? That that we can say. You got you you got. Oh, he would be top ten. I wouldn't say top. I wouldn't even give him top five because you had because you have those stiller greats from the seventies. So, Ooh. you know what I'm saying you got. And I'm talking about as not just just pure play and body of work. You are saying like you know I'm I'm looking at it from out on the field and off the field. You know Ben was an asshole off the field too. So that that put a lot of tank in his armor. He, yeah. he was. He was. He was a, so you got to, you know what I'm saying? He was an ass. He was an asshole on the field too, but he was a great player. 
Right, right. So, so you can negate that being an he, asshole. He's top, on the field. he's top ten. He's top ten. He, yeah, he's top ten. You got Troy. You got Hines. You got James Harrison. You see how many teams he played for before he even got to start. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, you got the bus. You, you know what I'm saying? You still, you still got, you still got Terry Bradshaw. You got Franco. You know what I'm saying? You, you got, you got uh, Lil no, we Juan. never said him neither. We oh, never said Franco. He's, he's number two. He's number two for me. Oh wow! So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just so many, it's just so many layers to unfold. But he's a definitely a top ten stiller as far as the league. He, you no, know, he can't for him to even get those two championships with playing against Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. And he wasn't even, he was a third ranked quarterback in his own draft. And he was still behind Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers, even though he came in and before Rodgers. Rivers and Eli Manning. So yeah, but that, that was the two that was in his draft. What Eli, Eli just got those two glorious, was, lucky. I feel like he was better win. than. I feel like he was better than Eli, but Eli made them great. Them was that, great that, that, throws. Man, the best. Them was like, great no, throws. It was the catch. Tyree no, caught that one. Not, 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 not the first one. Not the first one. I'm talking about. He, the he second had one. Some the great throws, and they, and at the end of the day, at the end of the day, he still got that. Where he still has that over. He still has hold that up, over. Hold uh, up! Hold up! Wait a minute! Over, wait a minute. Uh, over so, Big Ben. That wait he a had the Super Bowl MVP, and he beat he beat Tom Brady in the playoffs. Man, hey, listen. We know that you know Super Bowl Forty with Arizona that or extra large that the, the MVP should have went to Ben. It, it should have went to Ben. It should have. It should. Yeah. No, but then, again, the stats. but then again, why would you give it yeah, to him? Not, and it not even close. Harrison. I feel like Harrison should have won it. That's the best player in Super Bowl history in my in my book. That, Harrison should have won what? it. What was Harrison taking it a hundred? No, 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 okay. no. Well, name a better no, play. Bob. Name a better nah, play. that's that's it. That's it. Name, name a better play. You got to name a better play though to validate that though. And not even if it's the Stiller game. Just what's a better Super Bowl better, play? Yeah, but never better play. Nah, they had John Mahomes in the corner catching it over three people. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Hey, hey, throw back hey, to Ben. Hey, hey, That's hey, why Are y'all crazy? Ben no. threw no. that though. No. Ben still threw Wait, that though. Thirteen guys hanging out. He's from his own team. Man, listen, listen up, listen up. To to catch that ball now. Now, don't get me wrong. James Harrison, that was a good play. Very good play. A, a very good play? Okay. No, we would have been bad had yo, he yo. not made that play. Yo, we bro, still bro. Been bro. Immaculate. The, the immaculate. Of that play, but what I'm it, trying it, to say it, is... Go ahead. Uh, I was just saying, the best part of that play, I, I can't remember who, maybe Townsend or somebody, cornerback, tries to get the ball off him to run with it, and he pushes him out of the way and just fucking goes down the sideline. Yeah, go block. Facts go block. I just think that Santa, like Santonio Holmes he is took, literally the number one play in Super Bowl. He, he, play, you well, know. Well, but my, my, defense, my defense to that argument is about the about the tone time because that was a great catch, but it was a I feel like it was an even better throw, and that's why Ben should have got the MVP if it wasn't James Harrison. Tone time took over in the fourth in them in that last. Hold on, but James Harrison us, wasn't but, the MVP though. But, but I don't feel I don't feel like tone time played better than than Larry Fitzgerald though in that same game. True. Yo, bro, you ain't see that you ain't see that fourth quarter drive, bro. Yeah, he took over. Yeah, I, who dares? He give me the ball, but he still <laughs> he Larry Fitzgerald still outplayed him until he they took that drive. And this is this is why I say that's the best play Super Bowl history, uh, and, and especially in comparison to San Antonio Holmes. San Antonio Holmes' job is receiver, is to catch the god darn ball when it's thrown to his way. Harrison's job is to sack the god darn quarterback, and that play he was supposed to blitz, and he didn't. Yeah. He dropped back. He did something that he's not supposed to do. He intercepted the ball. He don't got hands. It, 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 it was huh. And then he's something else he don't do. He don't run past ten yards. And this dude took it a hundred. And he, he just caught him breath last year. And he was bringing. <laughs> hold on, hold on. He just caught a breath last year. <laughs> and which is that? Who's Who's number 11, Debo, number, bro. number 11, number 11, 
and and why I say he 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 outplayed he outplayed San Antonio Holmes and he almost made that tackle. Almost, he got close. Uh, number eleven was playing his ass off. He was, he was. Yeah. Look, De Debo don't sprint it, boy. five ten yards every play. Five ten yard sprints. This dude dropped back and pad in, in in the coverage. Took the ball like he is a cornerback, and then ran the ball like he's a receiver. He did three things that does not have to do with his job. That's the greatest play in Super Bowl history. I still think the San Antonio Holmes joint is, but anyway, um, Bob, he is ranked what in the Steelers helm, and he's ranked what in the NFL helm. We're talking about Big Ben. Ben. So Ben is behind Joe Green. He's behind as far as far as great uh, as far as those greats. He's behind Franco. Um, to me, he's behind Troy, and he's behind Bussy. Oh, and Dermonte Dawson. Mm, really? People, hey, yo, people forget about how cold Dermonte was, man. Dermonte was that dude. He set the he yo. He took it from Mike Webster and upgraded that that oh that uh, uh, center position to like yo. We gotta get another one like Dermonte. That's what it got, uh, Pouncy. And that's when they that's when they tried to transform freaking Kendrick Green, which that is the worst. That's the that's the biggest crap they did to Ben Roethlisberger was give him Kendrick Green this last year. Ben, that, that was a horrible ben, thing. Ben's, Ben's behind Lambert too. Oh yeah, I forgot about mean? Lambert. Yeah, I forgot about Lambert. He's behind Lambert. So I, that, I put, I'll put him like six. That put him like six for me. He's about like okay. six. I I quarterbacks of all times. Where you put him? I'm with Steely, man. He's between 10 and 20. Um, there's so many quarterbacks I can name before him that I, I, think are, I think are better quarterbacks and some that I think are greater quarterbacks. So better, it just had to do with just strict arm talent, drop back, throw the ball, right? Mm. Greater is like the whole accomplishments. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, like hey, we, 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 we got to put the – you put in the – as a quarterback, right, um, uh, Ben is greater than Marino. But not more talented. See what I mean? Mm. Mm. Okay, so for me, I think he would be like, like eighth or ninth most important stealer. Mm. Like I think, you know, what I'm saying Joe Green, Franco, Bust. You know, what I mean Hans Ward, Troy Polamalu. There's a, yo, there's a lot of defensive people that you say before Ben. Yeah, true. You know, what I'm you, you, you might even get the Greg Lord and Kevin Green. But Kevin, Kevin Green, play that, play that Kevin, Green Kevin Green was my he's my favorite uh, but, off off ball linebacker. But we talk about time. Kevin Green like he played for eighteen seasons. He only played for like four seasons with the Steelers. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. about, so we so it's I, like when you say that, then you got to say Ryan Sazier too because he, he was not play long enough. He, he played play long he enough. He wasn't great long enough. He wasn't great long enough. He ain't played long enough. Great for how long he played. That's what I'm trying to say. He was no, he was good. He was gonna stay great. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that was the most upsetting part of of yeah. That, that yeah. was the most upsetting part Shoot, of this. Man, Kendrell Bell is gonna be great if he ain't get injured. Okay, so all times he didn't cover like Cesar though. Kendrell used to nah. he was a thumper. <laughs> hey, I remember hey, one that time was, that was a different time. We he was, was yeah. we were playing at Chiefs. We was playing the Chiefs and uh, what was his name? The jo joystick. What was his name? What was his real name? Oh, Dante, uh, Dante Hall. Dante, they kept yeah. going right across his face. I'm like, they catch his ass, man. Ain't no one catch Dante Hall when he got past you. Ain't no one catch him. <laughs> okay, so so with that being said, quarterback, I'll give him. I'll give him top twenty. I'll get. I'm with y'all. I don't think. Uh, I don't I, like. I don't think he can read defenses, bro. That's just me. I don't think he. Who? Uh, ben? Ben? Ben. No, he, hey, no, hell ben no. had a trouble with pre-snap. He. That's why he pump fake a hold the ball all the time. <laughs> if you watch plays, he'll drop back. He'll look at somebody do like this. We're like, my bad. Just go that way. And do. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching him like. Hold on, hold on, Steely. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Steely and Bug. From from 2000, I would say to from seven all the way to 12, that O line been saving his ass, yo. 
It's that hard, old it's man hard was to block for a bit. It, it's it's yeah. hard to block for a bit. And, and he, that thing he held the ball forever. Scrambling. He scrambled behind the line of scrimmage, though. He he wasn't going upfield. He was going back and it's forth wanting like, to throw the ball. This man, right. this man ran a five forever, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he ran a five <laughs> forever, bro. Yeah. Like, like. You're, yo, he literally a a a, a Marcus because he hold the ball for more than six seconds. He was a, he was a sideline runner. That's yeah. once he, yep, yep. Once he once his body got old, once he couldn't shrug him off no more. That's when he started yep. to decline. Yeah, yo, when no no, nah, nah, I think I think the reason why Ben started to decline because he had that same injury that Terry Bradshaw had in his arm, and he couldn't sling it the way he wanted to. Yeah, no. with the ligaments. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think I think the nerve damage got to him. That's was just what what you I know think. What? I think it's because of Kendrick Green. Kendrick Green at center for his last year. He's been, he's been sitting on that shit this whole fucking time. He, he's no, like, oh my god, bring him, Kendrick, Kendrick, up, please. I was tall. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, Kendrick Green is the that's the that's the worst crime he did to Ben Roethlisberger because he always at every snap he had somebody on his lap, paused, and he had to throw the ball in point two seconds. Every that's why he had the fastest uh, 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 get off of everybody else in the league because he had to. Had to, yeah. Um, I tell you one thing. I tell you one thing. Russ better not new, use Nate Herbig. They better put that boy Zach Frazier in there. Nate, Herbig, Herbig, they, Nate done. Tore, Nate, Nate tore his rotator cuff. Herbig, Herbig's done. Oh, yeah, we good. We Gucci then. We might be Gucci. I, they fuck, fuck. Ne- they should have never had his ass at center anyway. He should have been a Thank guard. You. We should have used traded Daniels as trade bait. Yeah, facts. Taking it right him him <laughs> and Half Smith, because I low-key, I think, I know we talking about Herbig, but his, uh, his brother is better than Half Smith. That's a hot take too. That's his brother's better. That, that that that's a hot take. But I wouldn't mind his, using his Hyatt brother's Smith better. Than than I won't say he's better, but we won't lose anything with her big on it on that like, uh, other side. If if if, if High Smith goes down, I'm not I'm not I'm upset. not tripping. I'm not tripping. I'm upset. Yeah. I'm not upset. I'm he's a little saying, bit better. He's a little time, bit better though. on the run. He's a little bit better on the run because he's stopped here. He's a little bit better on the run play. But as far as straight getting to the quarterback. Nick's better but, than Nick's better than Half Smith. Yeah, but Nick, but Nick doesn't hold the line as much. Yeah, he Nick. don't have so yeah, on the run. Yeah, it's the so, run. And, that, and that's the thing. Nick need, oh, Nick need to get lower. He need to get lower. He run too tall. He can create Man, his own pass rush though. He, he can create his own pass rush. Like, okay, so so to say that to say this before we get out of here, this was the next question. So y'all, that was perfect because y'all led right up to it. What was the best free agent and trade that we have made in this offseason? What was the best? Uh, what, Scaly, what, what, what do you got? What you got, Scaly? Well, I mean, you have Russ for nothing. Another team's paying Russ. You have Russ for free whether he's good or bad. Yeah, I'm, not saying, it's the best one. I'm, I'm not saying that. Just hold on. You, <laughs> you must say... Uh, you also got his counterpart for basically nothing for draft picks Cheap. next year. Yeah, yeah. Cheap. So now neither one of them may work out. Right. I don't know. Right. But I like I like Patrick Queen coming in. I think he solidifies that linebacker spot. He's kind of my favorite that we've picked up so far. But it's all yet to be seen. But he he has been playing. His role since he's come in. Green right. dot. It, 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 Thomas say he a green dot guy. Yeah, he's yeah. an automatic green dot. He's automatic. Yeah. Mine's is Elliot. Oh, you saw an Elliot. Mine's is Elliot. Mine's is Mine's is Elliot because that's good. I feel like once I feel like even though we lost, we, uh, Ed, Edmonds wasn't the greatest. But he he had a good chemistry with Minka, and uh, he allowed Minka to play Minka. So when when yeah. when he left, we was using Minka as Edmonds, which was basically Edmonds and Troy was the same spot. That's and right. I feel like it was it was not only was it hurting him, it was it was it was getting it was getting thirty nine banged up. That's my that's my favorite current stiller. It was getting thirty nine banged up, and he wasn't allowed to play his normal role. 
Now that we got Elliot, now he got put his ass on the box. And KZ's all right, but KZ's not no full time starter. And I feel like I feel like I feel like or I feel like we're not going. How I'm gonna give you an example that Buffalo game we was getting not not the yesterday game the the game the playoff game they was getting dotted up. All them niggas was getting dotted up out there, and I feel like Deshaun Elliott's going help solidify all those crossers because they need to do something about those tight ends. They they I, don't, I still don't I still feel like that's a little weakness in their defense with the, as putting them linebackers matched up with Dalton Knox and Kincaid. I don't know why I felt like I felt like you could have I felt like we should have before twenty four got hurt. I feel like some of the times they should have closed him in there and put him on those on those uh on those them tight ends because I feel like if we can't watch the tight end especially with Kincaid and them Buffalo boys and KC the KC's the looking three P they look he might be if KC three P that is Michael Jordan of football true yeah. true I agree you can't watch them tight ends or the Lakers you're not gonna or, win. or the Lakers you know Lakers got three beats of okay so <laughs> so Bug what's your favorite what's your favorite uh off-season move that you felt like we made? And, and in short order, uh, Patrick Queen. And the reason why, the two two things. He makes us better. He makes the Ravens worse. Okay. That's, That's better than my argument. They har- <laughs> But they harping over that in the group. They harping over that. Oh, what's his name? Trenton Simpson. I keep calling him. I be trolling him, calling him Homer Simpson. Like, yeah, y'all got a fucking backup. It's Homer <laughs> Simpson. Homer Simpson had Homer Simpson be getting those tackles out there. That's cool. Yeah, so maybe it might be Roquan. It might be Roquan. Maybe it might, maybe might Roquan might be that good. Ro- Roquan is look. Roquan Smith is that good. He is that good. Oh, He's yeah. the second best middle linebacker in the league after Fred Warner. Tell your mom after Fred Warner. Warner. Like, Fred Warner is the best. Is the best middle linebacker. But Patrick Queen, he made he made our rival worse, and he made us better. And okay, that's why. So- he, and, and that's why he's the best pickup this offseason. So this is this is my take. This is my take. Uh, what Steely was saying about Russ, I, I, I get it, but I, I don't want a, a Ferrari with 300,000 miles on it. Like, that's just like, you feel what I'm saying? That's one. Okay. Uh, Justin Fields, I never if thought. If it's free, I do. Huh? <laughs> if it's free, he said that yeah, Ferrari's free. free. <laughs> yeah, some more motherfuckers paying for it. I'll take that shit. Not, yeah, for, <laughs> not, no, hey, hey, you know what? You got a point. Hey, he okay. hey, an, animals the kid that uh get the get the uh get the nice car for for uh in high school and be like, I don't want that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, yo, give me a cutty. You damn right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, Justin Fields, I like what we got for him for a six round conventional fourth. I I I get it, but I don't think that's the best. Patrick Queen, I think he would be my number two. But I think the steal that we got is when they traded away Kenny Pickett for the third and we got Peyton Wilson. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. That's that's a good like, look. That's a good look. Because, because look, yo, he's the sleeper. The only reason why he didn't go higher because he's injury prone. That is the only reason. That he's injured now, four. too. What'd you say? He injured now, too. I don't he's know. Kinda- yeah, shut up. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm just saying, like, what I'm saying is this boy run a 4-4. He plays sideline to sideline just like Patrick Queen does. And, and he's faster the, than him a little bit, healthy, too. If he stays healthy, he's a problem. He's a so problem. problem. Devin Bush. Hey, bro. Bro, he- so, You know what I'm saying? So, like, hey, yo, we had so high hopes, so much high hopes for Devin Bush. His first year, he's getting fumbles. He was around the ball. Yeah. And after that, he got injured. The recovery was just like, okay. So it, once I, he tore, once he was scared when he came back. Yeah. Once he blew his knee, he wasn't the same. He looked at the game different. You could tell. Hey, yeah, you you was you see he played a, a he played game with fear in his eyes. Like he, yep. yeah. That's he was I, never the same. He played, he played not to get hurt instead of making the play. Yep. Okay, so. So, with, with all that being said, with all that being said, this is the last thing we got to say, and then we're getting out of here. Um, Super Bowl picks. Mm. For this year, Steely, who do you got? If you if you had to give a take, 
on who you think is going to win the 2025 NFL Super Bowl in New Orleans, who do you got? And who are the teams from the NFC that are going? A- NFC uh, and NFC. Chiefs until they until they don't win, it's the Chiefs. <laughs> NFC NFC it might it's probably gonna be forty niners again. Mm-hmm. Nah? Who you got instead of the forty niners? Hey yo, even even with even with the with the red and gold on. I got Detroit nah. with the red and gold on. I can't trust their coach after last year. You can't trust the slappy kneecaps? Fuck no. He cost me fucking twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> I had a I had hundred dollar parlay that was about to pay out, and he gave up a fucking three touchdown lead. Oh shit! Yep, shoot. Right quick, AFC Championship: Kansas City Chiefs versus Houston Texans. Whoa! The, 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 the That's not a stretch. Game? That's AFC Championship game. That See, might somebody have. else had and, them winning the Super Bowl. And, and Chiefs the, win. The Texans. Okay, I'm I, and Chiefs. Win. I will never say it. I'm not. I'm not betting against Pat Mahomes after last year. Ever. A, a, after Ever. he did it with nothing. No, no. Nah, nah. Hey, yo. You know we call him Percocet Patty, bro. Yeah, that nigga man, was that's hurt. Bad. <laughs> that nigga was hurt. He came. He went in in halftime and act like nothing happened to him, yo. Guys, he, he's got hurt. Hurt. fucking circus tricks in preseason, throwing behind his back and shit. <laughs> and, 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 and just put some heroin in it. He, he was good to go. Um, yeah. Now, the Eagles are returning to the NFC Championship. And they're going to beat the 49ers. So it will be the Chiefs versus the Eagles. Saquon Barkley oh, is the difference. Saquon is the difference. Yeah, but... He yeah, hope Jalen goes back to where he was two years ago. And he makes Jalen Hurts better because he's not getting hurt and he's getting exposed. And they, they they're going to have to pause. They can't they can't do what they did last year and just rush them or just drop back in coverage and let that happen. They can't do that. So Saquon Barkley makes them a lot better, and they get a lot a, a few more people back from injury on that D line they had that made them so successful. Mm. Mm. What's going to hurt them? Why Why I don't got the Eagles? But I only see Eagles, San Fran. When you think of NFC Championship, I only see those teams. That's why it, it, you could get – it might be – you could catch a sleeper like Green Bay. Or not, and I'm not saying – I'm not high on Green Bay. I'm just saying Detroit, like they're just a sleeper listen, team. I'm, I'm battling between Detroit because I'm thinking so, Detroit might make it. And my, I'm Hassan, battling against that. That Hassan – that Hassan – that Hassan Reddick – that Hassan Reddick might kill them. That that part might yeah, kill that them. might hurt them. That might hurt them. That might hurt them. Might. Hey, 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 Fields, who you got, Cuz? Man, back to the NFC is so wide open, man. I can't even tell you, man. But I, I think, I think we going. Uh, honestly, honest, and I and I sound crazy. I thought about this like last month. I had this thought last month. I think if we get our shit together, we going we going to smack Kansas City. On Christmas, and then we're gonna lose to them in the championship game, and they go on three P. Mm, so Kansas City, so you can't you can't make a you can't make a uh, a uh, NFC uh, team. Yeah, you can't. No, it's so wide open. We know Dallas. We know Dallas is frauds. We yeah. know. We know. We know. We. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, tr- I don't trust Detroit. I don't trust Detroit like Bubs. I don't. I don't. I don't trust Detroit because. I don't trust Detroit because their their calls at the end oh, of the it game. Oh, that didn't trust Detroit. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't trust Detroit. I don't trust Detroit. And it's that they're, they're not used to being there. It's like teams when it's teams. Detroit. Detroit's like the Bengals. Them niggas ain't one of the teams that's just not used to being there. You see that at the end. Don't matter how good the team is. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Okay. Dan, so, Dan so, Campbell did them fucking dirty. Yeah. So 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 in the NFC it's open, but you think Kansas City. So that's three Kansas Cities. It's Kansas City. Kansas City will be Kansas us. City. I don't have Kansas City. Who you got? Only for the simple fact only for the simple fact of Baltimore or Houston. Who you got? Baltimore or Houston? I got Baltimore. 
Okay. He can't. Okay. I got Third, Baltimore. Third and six gonna kill him every time. I, I need the Undertaker nah. gong right now. When you said that. I need you to hit that yeah. Undertaker gong. Look, 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 yeah. look. Hey, yo, with me being a Steeler fan, look, with me being a Steeler fan, I gotta call a spade a spade. You know what I'm saying? Like, their their team is not all that great offensively. But defensively, they're ridiculous. With Derrick Henry addition, they're going to be Yo, better. I'm so scared. Listen to me, bro. I am so scared of that Derrick Henry, Lamar Jackson read option. I am so scared of that, bro. I am terrified. I have never been so terrified a day in my life in football, yo. I'm I'm scared to see that twice a year. As I'm long scared. as you get Derrick Henry at the line of scrimmage, you're good. And yeah, I think, do a great job of that. But, but then I think we've, we've, we've kept him in San check Fran, the last couple times. But but with San Fran, okay. So I think this is what I think, and y'all might hate me for this one. Yeah, San Fran, they're 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 definitely going to be in the conversation without a doubt. Like they're going to go thirteen, probably in four, and they're going to be in the conversation now. Detroit, I would say Detroit, but again, I don't trust them neither. You know what I'm saying? For the simple fact, like, Dan Campbell calls a good game, but at pivotal points, it's he, not yeah, good. Yeah, he's making bad decisions, man. Yeah, yo, he goes fourth and one with, with it being in the fourth quarter. I don't like that, bro. Like, that's crazy. Like, he, you, you should either – Punt the ball off, get your de- give your defense a chance, especially your defense. I, Yo, I got, with, with Aiden Hutchinson is crazy. Bro. I got a sleeper team, another sleeper team. Oh, that's on, not this Green is Bay. what I was gonna say. Hold on, let me say this. Eagles, I don't think like 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 Phil said. Yo, that 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 Hassan Reddick, bro. Like I can't overlook that, bro. I can't. Yeah. So it's, what I am gonna say is this is the sleeper team that I was going to say. And they had a wonderful offseason. The Atlanta Falcons. Falcons. That's what I was about to say. If Penix play, Penix got to play, though. I don't think so, bro. Not I think Kurt. they can do it with Kurt. No, nah, Kurt, ain't, Kurt, Kurt ain't no championship quarterback. He's, he's, he's a Man, ticket hey, to the playoffs. Listen, I'm, I'm not. Look, I'm going to tell you, I'm not the biggest Kurt Cousins fan. But what I'm also not a fan of is unproven rookies. We know that Kirk Cousins can sling that rock, and we we know we know he that the homie can pass. But hey, there's another sleeper team that nobody's talking about. Who? Miami? No, they're not going to be sleepers. They're not sleepers. Um, you gotta talking? go Chicago. Gotta go Chicago. Please, uh-uh. I, I, I would pick the Chargers no. over Chicago right now. Are you hold on? Are you smoking hope through an opium pipe, bro? No, nope. the Harbaugh boy changed that team all the way around. They have no receivers. They got no receivers. Harbaugh going to change that team all. He went to the Super Bowl with no receivers. So Michael Crabtree. Okay, so 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 let's say no. This. They had they had they had receivers. Had they would have went to Randy Moss, they would have won the game. He kept going. Man, Randy was at that point. No, Randy not, went on, one, not, on, not, on single, not on single coverage. Yes, he had single coverage up the goal line. <laughs> Throw it up. Up with his capital D, washed to death. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying he wasn't washed, but hey, I'm, hey, that's bro. in between. That's in between the twenties, though. I'm talking hold about on, at the on. goal line throwing it up with one on one. Okay, so let's. So so since we say that, let's say this: the best trio wide receivers right now, we can say is the Houston Texans. I agree. Yeah. We can all Last say that it was the Bengals. Now it's yeah, the yeah. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Second in Chicago. Second in Chicago. You got DJ got... Moore. You got Keenan Allen and Keenan Roman Allen. Doomsday. That that is scary, bro. That, and they got great. Swift too. They got Swift too. Oh, but, I forgot about that. We ain't, we ain't gonna know. We ain't gonna. We not gonna know. We not gonna know the real. We not gonna know the real Caleb until he gets hit in his mouth. And they you still know, we be behind Detroit my, and Green Bay. My last, my last, my last envision of Caleb Williams was crying on the sideline to his mom after the game. Hey, yo! But you said something about Green Bay, Bob. This is what I'm saying. I don't think Jordan Love's going to heat up to about his 
till about like next year, not this year, but next year. I think he's going to heat up. He, he needs more weapons, here. bro. Hey, Green, Green Bay. Me and Steely, hold on. Me and Steely he, was talking about that last year. He heated up on Dallas. On uh, his podcast when he was doing interviews. And, uh, I mean, when he was doing his uh, radio show or whatever. He was saying, yo, this dude, Jordan Love, you know what I'm saying, was throwing to Dobbs and Wicks and tearing Cowboys out of the frame, yo. Tear them like, up. Tear yeah. them up. I'm like, do it who again. are these dudes, yo? Dallas going to lose it's the it's game. It's it's three. It's three. It's into a JV team when they get in the playoffs. That, that's true. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you, ain't lying. Turned, you ain't lying. Cowboys is the Steelers in the playoffs. They the same team. All right, so forget all that. Should they pay that <laughs> thing? <laughs> they ain't going to talk about that. That's the <laughs> Yeah, facts, facts. Hey, so, 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 so I, I, they pay I, that? Huh? You, you, you don't pay them because well, you don't got nothing else. No, you don't pay them. I mean, you could spend that with your dumb ass. You, hey, you, hey, you, you're just trying to. You know what I do with type time I'm on. You're just trying to. You're just trying to cloak a talent. Yeah, you're you're saying he should ride out the year. Wait, and you're going to shine the door. Wait, I know wait. where you at. I, yeah, I called this out last year during the season, and and I knew that the partial was happening. They're going they're going to play hard. They're going to play chicken with Dak all the way to the off season, and they're going to draft Shador. If until that's guaranteed. If they can guarantee either he's not being the Cowboys or he's going with the Cowboys, if he's going, if he's going with the Cowboys, they're going to let that go. But if it's guaranteed that he can't come, they're going to sign that. But what if he goes all the way this time? All then the way where? If you go all the way, you got to sign him. If you go all the way, you got to sign him. But at that point now, he's asking for more because, hey, before, I'm asking for his money only one one playoff game. Now I'm acting this money as a champion, but that's Jerry not happening in Dallas. Jerry Jones sold. Jerry Jones sold his. Jerry Jones sold his rights and his butt thirty years ago with Stillers game and that Super Bowl. Hey, They're not he, going back to the Super Bowl. Hey, he ain't going to another Super Bowl in his lifetime. Did you say he's at one of the Robert Kraft freak offs? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, was, he, was, <laughs> he, yeah, he, he saw the shine down ago. there. He ain't going on another more Super Bowl, man. <laughs> what you they say? Always, they, they, they're Steelers. They're just like us. They go to the playoffs. He, he saw the shine down there when he was like five years old. That's where he learned all that shit. Yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> And you know, and sure. wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be crazy? Wouldn't it be crazy if uh, after Deshaun Watson retired, he invested in massage parlors? Yeah, man, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, I had to tell dude because he's gonna tell me he keep bringing up that big Ben in the bathroom. Shit. Yeah, he, yo, I, hey, yo, I'm sorry, I don't believe in Cleveland. I just don't. Like, nope. I, yeah. I, I don't. But as good as their defense is. I don't believe in him, and I don't believe Nick Chubb is going to come back and be what he was. No, he's not. This no. is sponsored by Turner's. <laughs> back. 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 Hey, yo, Pittsburgh, man. So, um, yeah, we're out of here, man. Thank you for tuning in to You Had to Beat Her podcast. Thank you very much to Steely. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely trying to have him on the show more often, man. He's a great guest. I'm trying to have my family, Marcus Fields, on the show more often. He's a great guest. And you already know me and Bubs, you know what I'm saying? And the co-sponsor is Pineapple Upside Down Cake. We're going to get it cracking. We're going to leave it out <laughs> how it is. But we still still are fans at the end of the day. Even we though don't. Bub got that <laughs> same brand on, we still still are fans. But, you know what I mean? And we appreciate it. Uh, hey, shout out y'all social media so they can follow y'all. Yeah, uh, PGH still uh, on Facebook and TikTok. Hey, uh, uh dog on TikTok and, the, and the IG. Word. I'm only, I'm only on Facey, man. Same name. I don't, I don't, I don't, do, I don't do TikTok or none of that, man. I don't. Hey, look, man. The only thing I'm going to say is Follow us on You Had to Be There podcast on Twitter. And I'm tired of you San Fran people keep on coming out hey, our podcast. Bro. Hey, YouTube. Don't forget YouTube, man. Check out the YouTube. Oh, yeah. Check it. Please subscribe. Like, subscribe. That's what y'all got to do. Like and subscribe, man. We are trying to reach 
we are trying to reach a certain amount by the time and we and we definitely gonna be uh doing all that and we definitely gonna be uh, do y'all want us to do a tailgate podcast Absolutely, because that's what they want. That's what we want, and everybody should come. Man. If you do it, they will come. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. yeah you will. If you want to watch me, you want to watch me shotgun twenty five beers and flip some burgers. Come on down. Oh uh, yeah, no doubt, man. No doubt, and, and and I would appreciate it if you put some seasoning salt on my shit, but, dog. Like, you know what I'm listen, I, I got okay. berries in the back right now. My there dog, go. my there dog, go. my dog. Yeah, we out, man. Shout out. We love y'all, yo. I appreciate it.